Hello. anything enough about that situation to do anything about it don't don't yeah I'm not gonna be able to save you on that one hun I have no idea <laughs> oh Jesus fairly lengthy uh, history there that I don't know enough about to get into so I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm about to die so I need to get some food. <laughs> down to here <laughs> you got here faster than I thought you would Yagami san well how'd it go find anything between Kajihira and Kazumi <laughs> just a couple of rumors really then what's with that grin fine you got me you know that meeting they had turns out it was about the ADDC what? For years now, the Kajihira group has been secretly planning an absolutely massive redevelopment project. And where were they planning it? This plot of land right here. That's the ADDC. Yep. The area around it, too. To be precise, Kajihira wanted all the land belonging to the Medical Institute, which, as you know, is managed by none other than the Ministry of Health. So Kajihira's redevelopment plan was premised on getting land from the Ministry of Health. That explains why Kajihira needed to talk to Minister Kazumi. If they want to go forward with the redevelopment, they'll have to shut the Institute down, including the ADDC. But is getting just one bigwig on board with the project enough? It is in this case. Apparently, Kazumi was already planning to shut the center down. Huh? See, the institute was created with the goal of addressing Japan's aging population problem. Too many seniors, not enough babies, all that. But for the past ten years, the money's been going into a black hole. People even call it a tax scam. I mean, they're not wrong. Management's just a bunch of crusty government types. I see. So if the Minister of Health says the time's up, 
Bye bye, ADDC. Hello, giant plot of land. Wouldn't that reflect poorly on Kazumi, though? Maybe, but I doubt he'd mind so long as he got a nice kickback from it. And that's exactly what Kajihira put on the table. I'm sure it was enough to cover the damage. A big old bribe, basically. On top of that, Kajihira bought up all the land around the center years back to avoid rising prices. All he needed was the Ministry of Health's go-ahead. <laughs> They're not even trying to hide it. Yep, but as luck would have it, it just wasn't meant to be. One day, Kajihira's redevelopment project suddenly got flushed down the drain. Something happened preventing the ADDC from closing. And it's all thanks to this guy. Kido and his 89 research. Yeah, you don't just shut down a dementia drug that could change the world. So Kazumi started singing 89's praises to anyone who'd listen. And you know how it ends. The ADDC stayed in business, the money kept flowing, the research kept going. Kazumi brushed the whole deal under the rug. And pulled it right out from under Kajihira. Yep. Guy must have lost billions in the process. Wonder what that feels like. I guess he's not too happy with this 89 business. Right. How'd you get all this anyway? I literally asked you today. <laughs> you want to look behind the curtain, huh? What? It's not that impressive. It was all published online last year. It was a pretty gripping article, but they couldn't substantiate their claims. Everyone wrote it off as tabloid nonsense. I think they might have been right. W why? The piece is by Kohatori. He's the same asshole. dude sitting around you know at him? your office? Yeah, nope. we go back. And apparently he stormed Genda's office today looking for an interview. Huh? Doesn't that mean you can ask him yourself? You better get a move on. Guess I'll have to. Kajihira has lost a ton of money because of his ADDC business. Does that have anything to do with why Shintani and those Kyore guys got murdered? I'm gonna do a violence! Really, guys? Dropped money! Gimme, give gimme, give In there. Oh, hey, Yagami san. Is Hattori still here? No, he actually left a while ago. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you really did scare him off then, huh? More like he couldn't handle Saori san staring into his soul. <laughs> Who can? By the way, um. Hmm? For you. I came to offer condolences for Shintani Sensei. That's not the only reason. Tell Yagami san straight. Right. Something you needed to say? Yes. Well, Izumita wants to take you in, Yagami-kun, for Shintani-sensei's murder. Does he? A detective by the name of Kuroiwa said I was a material witness, too. What is going on, Yagami-kun? <sighs> hey, I could ask you the same thing. 
Just to be sure. You didn't do it, did you? Me? Kill Shintani? Yes. Of course I didn't. How could you even ask? I'm a prosecutor, remember? Doubting people is my job. So why is Izumita suspect me? Does he even have anything to go on? I I'm not sure. They're leaving me out of the loop on purpose, I think. But even Morita-san suspects you. They really don't like me, huh? I don't think they can charge you with a murder on the grounds of not liking you, Yakumiku. Well, either way, I'm glad you didn't kill anyone. But if anything comes up, feel free to get in touch. If it's within my power, I'll do what I can to help. Thanks, Mafuyu. See you later. Say goodbye again to Sensei for me. You have side cases for me. Okay, uh, I'll go do a ghost capture. Did Sugiura-san end up finding anything? What's the latest? He did. Apparently Kajihiro was trying to get Kazumi to close down the ADDC. Wait, what? He wanted to use the center's land for his redevelopment project. But then the AD9 research came out and threw a wrench into things. Kajihira lost a lot of money. Wait a second. That means he's connected directly to the ADDC. According to Hattori's article, at least. Hattori-san wrote about it? That's why I stopped by. I wanted to ask him about it in person. So, he hangs around when you don't want him, and then when you need him, he's nowhere in sight. That guy's the worst, seriously. Hello? Yagami-san, it's Sugiura. Uh, did a woman just leave that office you hang around in? Hmm? Oh, you must mean Mafuyu. Oh, I didn't know her name. She's pretty, though. Wait, does that mean you've been following me? I'll tell you later. I'd worry more about all the Yakuza tailing Mafuyu-san. Huh? Yeah, it's like... Four Yakuza, maybe more. What should I do? We should do something, right? I'll be right there. Where are you? Head straight to Theater Square once you're down. And be quick about it, yeah? I can't take them all by myself, Yagami-san. You coming, Yagami-san? Where are you? I just left Genda's office. How's Mafuyu? Fine for now, but maybe not much longer. Those Yakuza are getting closer by the minute. You've got to hurry, Yagami-san. She's just about to cross Theater Square. Those two are just tailing the other guys. <laughs> are you there, Yagami-san? Mafuyu just went left on Theater Avenue. Got it, thanks. She's got even more Yakuza on her tail now. It's way more than four by my count. Are they on her about some Yakuza-related case? What family are they from? I haven't figured that out. Better just to get over to her quick. Yo, road's closed, pal. You're Yagami, yeah? I don't have time for this. Afraid that's not your call. We've got an appointment with the lady prosecutor, you see. What? You heard me, asshole. Now step the fuck back, or else! I'll get you, mysterious assailant. Starting with your knifeable friend.
Who are you? And why are you following Mafuyu? <laughs> Don't think we're giving up that easy. Yo, need a hand talk? In no, obviously, but okay. I'm kind of bummed you started the party without me, man. I'm raring to go. What the hell? Not a second too late. Mind taking care of these guys? I gotta get after Mafuyu. Mafuyu, Chon? She's not in trouble, is she? Handle it, please. See ya. Seems like probably, but okay. I get it. You guys are tailing Mafia, you char. I can't exactly let that kind of shit slide, assholes. Ugh! Son of a bitch! Maybe you have a chance of winning that one, so... Uh... Can you hear me, Yagami-san? Are you still coming? I'm coming. How's my for you? Safe. Over on Nakamichi Street now. Her and, uh, four more Yakuza. I don't know if I can take them on my own. Got it. I'm turning onto Nakamichi Street now. Hurry, okay? Watch your back, yakuza san Looks like the Yakuza are onto you. Huh? All four of them are heading your way. Got it. Keep an eye on Mafuyu for me. Cool driver you got there. Get back. He's white. Let's go. Huh? Oh, hold on a minute. <sighs> Yakumi, you're going down. <laughs> okay. It's time!
Did you just fucking skull an entire bottle of Jack Daniels during that fight? Don't question it. It worked. <laughs> Why didn't you use the bottle to hurt them? Listen. <laughs> Friend tipped me off. Kaito's on help too. Don't forget to thank him later. I don't understand though. Why would the Yakuza come after me? Sorry, give me a second. Are you okay, Yakumi san? No, my fridge is not running. She's okay, thanks to you, Sugira. Oh, glad to hear it. By the way, I'm tailing that van that tried to nab her. Great. We'll need to figure out where it was going. Right. Hello, Izumeda-san? This is Fuji. Oh yeah, Yagami-san. Those Yakuza? Or Kyore? I recognized a few of them from KJR. Why would the Kyore go after Mafuyu? Uh, we might be better off asking them that in person. Think you can head over now? No. I need to make sure Mafuyu gets home safe first. I'll call you later. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Izumida-san says he'll send some officers over for me. The Kyore clan is a Kansai-based group, yes? They're the ones who were harassing me? Looks like it. As for why... Uh, it's probably to get revenge on the justice system. The guy who killed three of their men is still at large, wandering the streets of Kamurocho waiting to strike again. But if that's their reason, why would they come after me? Aren't there other people who would make more sense? Yeah, I guess you're right. I should think before I speak. <laughs> okay, so there is a possibility of getting him wrong. What is it? I saw them hit you earlier. Are you hurt? No. I'm gonna make sure this never happens again. Hmm? I'll sort this out with those Kyori guys. You can't! That's not safe! Don't worry about me, okay? I'll stay far away from Kamurocho for a while. In fact, maybe you should come with me, Yagami-kun. Lay low for a while. Your carriage awaits. You gonna be okay? I'm sorry, but I can't leave now. Not yet. Why, though? It looks like the killer we're after now is somehow connected to the murder three years ago. That would mean... the Shinpei Okubo case? Yeah. Right before Shintani was killed, he tried to contact a researcher named Shono at the ADDC. The same Shono who testified against Okubo in the trial. That's all you have? <laughs> I'm still trying to piece everything together. But I have to keep going until this puzzle is solved. You know, it's been three years since I've seen you this worked up. Hmm? It's kind of refreshing, actually. Huh? <laughs> you just look so... alive. <laughs> Maybe I am. See you later. Hello? Hey, it's Yagami. I'm free now. Where are you? Turns out the van never even left Kamarocho. They all got out at some sketchy cabaret. A place called Honmaruen on Park Boulevard. Honmaruen? Gaito-san's heading over too. Gotcha. I'll be there ASAP.
Well, it's got to go and actually, um, you know, the person will explain the case to me when I go, so just, yeah, just wait for it. What a waste. Yeah, it's no longer there. Wait, is it? I can't find it, baby. Did you come to watch me sing? Okay. Yeah. Of course, gotta stay current on the latest Sanachan hits, you know. Happy to hear it. Oh, that makes me feel real special. Okay. <laughs> I'll put a little more oomph into my performance today just for you. Man, why does he get all the special treatment, huh? My heart it roars with the flames of jealousy. Or maybe that's just hard for us. <coughs> Sonachan looks so happy. I wish she'd look that way for me. Oh, and then the entire fucking group vanishes. Because it was just a little thing. Oh, I received a new massage, I guess. Yagami yeah, son, you know there's some videos of me online? Well, I do now. Did you upload those yourself? Yeah, I have been. Ever, even before I came to Kamurocho, I would upload videos here and there in hopes more people would hear my music. Dang, I had no idea. And you're still doing that now? Well, I kind of stopped ever since I moved into town. But the older stuff has been getting a lot of hits lately. Big enough for a talent agent to contact me. They said they want to meet in person. That's good, but I'm a little worried. <laughs> I'm glad you s you're finally coming up in the coming up in the music scene, but still, I get worried sometimes. Oh, you're actually worried about me? That's so cute. Well, I've heard good things about this place, so I don't think last time is going to repeat itself. I am a little nervous, though. Yeah, well, fucking... I don't give him a... Uh, why not give him a chance? The least you could do is hear him out, and if you don't like what they're selling, beat it. You're right, it's not like this sort of thing happens every day. I have no idea, honey. Oh! Oops, just call me. Yeah, it's Kaito. Hey, where are you? I'm almost to the cabaret. Right out front. Sugiura's here, too. Okay, I'll be there in a sec. I got punched extremely much, so I had to stop for some food first. You know how it is if you eat a bowl of noodles after you've been punched? You're punched. Your punchosity goes down, I guess. Your being punched becomes no. Over here, Tom. Yeah, no shit over there. I was following. I could see you. Look, that's the van we tracked. 
Right. Does that mean this is another Curie hideout? Wouldn't be surprised. Who knows how many of the bastards are going to be in there. But are Seven you ready to them. find out? Yeah. Yeah, let's roll. Oh, you look like a proper huh? Yakuza down there. Hey, do you guys even have a plan? Don't need one. The plan is punch what? and kick. There could be a freaking army in there. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many there are. There's an army out here. Yeah, I don't really care. Besides, I'm not in the mood for strategizing. <laughs> Why not? Because it's punch o'clock. Oh, come on, man. You think he's going to let him slide after they hit his girl? You guys are freaking nuts. All right, it's all you, Todd. <laughs> you get to take point on this one. Punch a clock. <laughs> Clubs rent it out, asshole. Can't you fucking read? Wait, aren't you? It's Yagami! Stop where you are! So, this is where you were gonna drag Mafuyu chan, huh? Hmm? Who gave the order? Was it Marase? Or maybe it was Shioya? What's it matter? We wanna talk to the big boys. Yeah, what he said. Shut it! But fine! If you want to fight, bring it on, asshole! There's your big group of people. Well, that didn't take long. What the? Hey, you're out of step, dumbass. You're never gonna get any laughs with moves like that. Give me some fire, chuckleheads. Now. Un, deux, trois! Un, deux, trois! What the shit is this? Whatever it is, it's killing the mood. Onaki! It's Yagami! Huh? <laughs> Because nothing in this game has been funny enough to make that a surprise, right? Like. Thanks for finally coming to help. Which leads me to think that maybe the, uh... The shit just, you know, the pathfinding glitched. <laughs> Yeah, it did. Shit. Let go, asshole! It's got my fire! It's more! Yeah! Just go to 
Delta. We'll be fine. All right. We've got this. Yep, that's how I would grab a chair if I was going to fight with a chair like that. Is how I would do it. Doesn't look like I have a key for this door. It's the bed. That's it there. Oh, it's the home or in key. It, it's the key for the door. Time to get a little turn before we go into the next room. Though. Oh, that's map. I want find one of the items. Yum. Alright, I'm drunk. I'm hopped up on growth extract. Alright. <clears throat> I suck at this. Why am I bad? Stupid thing. Got it. It's Yagami! Oh, that's a gun. Yeah. Could I pick up the gun? No, of course not. It vanished the minute it hit the ground. <laughs> you know, like gun do. Another gun? You know those are illegal, right? You shot at me. That one shot me. No, first guy missed, second guy hit. how table is and does yeah I didn't think any of these other doors would open perfect wait they do and they're items okay that's good Probably I should go into the other rooms then, huh? Got it. Oh yeah, I went through it, but uh, I don't know where these ones lead, so we'll try it from here and I can... Oh, this calls for a wire, okay, so... Almost there. I 
Christ. Almost there. Why is there two distinct luck picking minigames? Possibly say. That'll do it. I'm just trying to be cautious of which this one doesn't open, of which ones lead you where. Like, because I don't want to, I don't want to go through a door and accidentally end up in the in the fight before. This is where I came from. Gotta hurry. Why am I bad? Shit. Nice. Almost there. On a time limit because they're searching for me now. Nice. Shouldn't have left those healatives all over the floor for me though. Got it. Guy might use those. Oh, the wire didn't break this time. That's good. Oh shit, it's a secret technique! EX beatdown. EX reverse beat down. Mercilessly kick and throw an immobilized enemy. Can only be used during EX boost. Alters your combat style. Grab an enemy from the back and press triangle. Alright. Well, that was worth it on its own. Did I through that one? I guess I did, it's just the lower end of this long hallway, okay. Well, nothing else I can do then. John! Kaito-san, Sugira, you made it. Told ya. Trust us next time, man. Right? I did, they had guns. <laughs> Oh, that's a grenade. Oh shit! What the? You're bringing out a lot of fire. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get, you bitches. No, if you're gonna bring a gun to this fight, I'm gonna bring many punches to your face. Like, you absolutely go down first if you ever- OH! <clears throat> you did shoot me there. Yep, that's how physics works. Mm -hmm. Catches just spin on their axes. <laughs> thank you, Kaitor. Everybody say thank you, Kaitor.
Yakuza party is up on the next. Oh, okay. Why am I not surprised, Shioya? <laughs> I know how to make an entrance, don't I? You're a little it's fun. Damn good to see you, Yagami. Crying shame these idiots were so goddamn useless, though. Guess strength in numbers ain't all it's chalked up to be. Pansies, you all trying to get your fingers chopped off tonight, huh? You tried to kidnap Mafuyu. Hmm. Girls? You should have just told me if you wanted to fight. Would have been glad to do it at my place. What is it you want? Well, I've got a little job I need done. You boys in? What job? I'm not in the business of being refused, so I needed to take out an insurance policy. That's why I decided to give that girlfriend of yours a little ride. <laughs> Fuck off. Didn't work out so well, he did it? Have done it for next to nothing. Almost no questions asked. We're that desperate? <laughs> Damn right. But now this asshole went and hit Mafuyu Chan, so we're never gonna help him, no matter what he says. And even if Tak ends up on board, I'll still kick your ass! Have a little faith, huh? <laughs> a couple of comedians, huh? Fuck it. Looks like I'm just gonna have to bust your pathetic skulls myself. Easier that way. Yeah? <laughs> now go. Break their fucking faces. Oh, that that's the boss, okay. See, he had a green health bar, so I thought he was the same green health bar as my allies. I took out two of them there. Oh, cool! I got a um, team attack with Sugira too. Oh, you gotta knock it. Yeah. Oh, he's gathering his key. Watch out. Uh, 
something something candle in the wind? Yeah. to blow you out maybe Watch out, they got Professor X. Hey, look who it is. Your old buddy Hattori, isn't it? Great. And who's the old man? Well, well. Never thought I'd be running into him here. Huh? So... You're the ones from the Yagami Detective Agency. Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. This should be an easy fight. Let's go. So he's the guy. murder of Shintani. The police begin to suspect Yagami and subpoena him. The cases of both past and present become a volatile mix at the ADDC. At one point, the land it sits on had been the target of a redevelopment scheme. And behind that plan, the Kansai-based construction company, the Kajihira Group, and its chairman, Shigeru Kajihira. Oh no, it's Lim Liggett. Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So he's the guy. You're familiar with Hattori san here, yes? He's told me a great deal about you, Yagami san. Me? He even clued me in on the perfect way to get inside your head. You better not be talking about Mafia chan. As I understand it, you two are practically family. The young lady is quite fond of you, you know. I take it you're the one who gave Shioya the order to kidnap her then? <laughs> I wanted to see what you were capable of. Huh? Now that I know, the Curie clan will leave you alone. I can guarantee you that. Let me guess. There's a condition? There's something I'd like you to do. A job only a detective can handle. Here we go. A year ago, I set in motion a plan to redevelop a massive plot of land owned by the Ministry of Health. Yeah, I know. 
Hattori-san's article told me as much. <laughs> sure. Our plan was to take over the entire medical institute. That's enough land there for three or four Kamurochos. So I struck a deal with Minister Kazami and bought up the surrounding properties for next to nothing. All that remained was closing down the ADDC and the other arms of the Institute. But I don't have enough time on this planet to wait for that to just happen naturally. So I turned to a man named Hashki. Here's a shot of the man. I've never seen this guy before. At the time, Hoshki was the vice director of the ADDC. But tempting him to join me was easy enough. But soon we were working together to sabotage the center. Sabotage? Yes. He drove out the ADDC's most promising talent and sold their cutting-edge research to rival labs. He performed his part admirably. Sounds like a real douchebag, if you ask me. So, you're saying you bought off a government official? Yes, and it was easy. But then, just as the ADDC was on its last legs, something breathed life back into it. Which was? AD-9. Mr. Kazumi did a complete 180. He took Kido's side and vowed to keep the center open. That drug ruined the whole damn operation. And where's Hashki now? Dead. What? He was beaten to death some six months ago. Somebody murdered the vice director of the ADDC? They're still not sure who was responsible. The cops wrote it off as a drunken brawl, and that was the end of it. Yagami san, I want you to investigate Hashki's death. I have reason to believe it was premeditated. But what makes you think that? You sound pretty sure. He was suspicious of AD-9. Thought it was all a hoax. A hoax? But why? Just when we started talking about closing the center, along came this revolutionary new drug to save the day. The timing was too convenient. That's what Hoshki thought, at least. He was sure that there was more to AD-9 than met the eye. So he did some digging, and not long after, he was murdered. Are you saying Director Kido bumped him off? It's a pretty serious accusation. If that were the case, I'd still be able to shutter the center. The redevelopment project would begin anew, and all my investments would finally turn a profit. But as of right now, I'm a hundred billion in the red. That's a lot of money! I can't leave that large an investment on the table. No wonder you're so hung up. Whoever killed Hashki probably did it to spite Kajihira. Most likely someone working to protect AD-9. The ADDC is hiding something. I'm sure of it. And that lawyer, Shintani, was close to figuring out what. At least until he got his eyes gouged out. Things are not all they seem to be at the ADDC. And if that's the case, you must want to know the truth too, Yagami-san. That's why I came to you. There's nobody else I could ask to do this. Hattori-san. Mafuyu almost got kidnapped thanks to you. Anything you want to say? Chairman Kajihira pretty much kidnapped me, too. Going after your girl wasn't my idea. I was just looking out for myself. Still feels like you owe us an apology. <sighs> that guy's the fucking worst. Hey, shouldn't we roll out of here? Our friend's just about waking up. Good point. Let's go. Take his wallet, though. Fucking tie his shoelaces together. <laughs> Yeah, name's Hushki. Used to be vice director of the ADDC. Mm-hmm. 
murdered in Kamurocho six months ago. Sorry to spring this on you, Hoshino. Think you could get all that for me by tomorrow? Okay, thanks. Well, looks like that's it for today. See you at Genda's tomorrow? Sounds good. Night, boys. Yagami-san. What's up, Sugira? I was just thinking, teaming up with you was the right call. Should make some progress on my investigation, now that Kajihira himself is out in the open. I wouldn't have saved Mafia without you, either. Thanks again. No prob. Let me know if anything else comes up. Full night's sleep sounds pretty good right about now. Oh heck yeah, we got a twig. Alright. How are we doing? Point oh, we got many good points. We got a good yes to points. The point is, you did a lot of beat, good, good arcade beat ups, and it's fine now. Probably be back. Hey, you got the Kahim gang. No, he said the Kyore would leave us alone. That's a different gang. Depends on what for. Doctor, I got shot. Fix me up in the sewer. Thank you, Doctor Sewers. I suppose it's just what I use, I haven't really looked. Oh no. It's not too much trouble, can I ask you something? What's up? Is there any chance we can meet up? I'd like to thank you for the other day. Nobody likes Zuckerberg. I wanted to see you too. 
What, really? Yeah, but we need to talk to you again. That's sweet. Where should we meet, then? How does Theater Square sound? It's kind of by Camaro Theater. Cool, can't wait. Should I buy a present for Sonachan before our date? Oh god. I bet LaMarche has some good stuff. Show her how much you care. Before you go out on a night on the, for a night in the town with a girl, consider buying your date a present at LaMarche. If you give her a present she really likes, so your intimacy will increase. Basically, if you suck at keeping a conversation going in the right direction, a heartfelt gift might save you. <laughs> you enjoy your time together, you may enter a topic talk while having a conversation. Select the choices you think will make your girlfriend happy to fill the intimacy gauge. Uh, okay. Don't do it. Okay, you can do that. Where's the ghosts at? Quadra Garden at night. Okay. Oh, that's not far away. Around the corner. Yeah. And it is night time now, so we can do the thing. Fuck you, signs. Let me in. No, the, there you go, the Kahin gang is back. Disappointing lack of... So hard he died. Really, guys? Excuse me. Are you Shimazu san? I'm Yagami, a detective. Hi. Yes, my name is Mamoru Shimazu. I've been waiting for you, Yagami san. Pleasure, so what can I do for you? You have a job for me, right? Yes, um, I need you to catch a ghost. Huh? 
You're going to have to elaborate on that. Well, I'm moving into a new apartment next month, and I've heard it's haunted by a ghost. Yeah, well, I didn't expect it to be haunted by a fucking waterfowl. Hmm. You're basing this on a rumor? <laughs> yes, when I went to introduce myself to the new neighbors, they told me all about it. Apparently, you can hear the voice of a woman crying in the room I'll be hmm? renting. How does a woman crying make it supernatural? That's not all. A woman has been gliding through the hallway dressed all in white with jet black hair. The neighbor got scared, and that's when they discovered no such woman had lived there recently. Okay, I guess I am getting a little creeped out. But the landlord is supposed to notify you if there have been any incidents. And they didn't say anything of the sort. I see. My girlfriend and I are actually planning on moving in together in th into this apartment. We were in a long-distance relationship, but then she quit her job and took a chance of moving here. We even picked that out together. It's a little pricey, but it was perfect otherwise. <laughs> This is her. Isn't she a beauty? Her name is Yukiko. This is a lot of information to be giving. This is too much information to be giving me for that not to matter. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't want to build a relationship in a haunted apartment. Huh? Yes, we do. Wait, what? If we can prove there's some kind of tragic accident that happened there, we can negotiate the price down, right? Wait, you're okay with a ghost as long as the price is right? What about your girlfriend, man? <laughs> Don't worry, she's oblivious. She couldn't sense a ghost if it sneezed on her. Hmm. I see. Hmm, I'm not sure that's the problem. Anyway, how exactly do I fit into this? I want you to investigate if the apartment is haunted or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm going to charge 80000 on this one. Ghosts are extra. No problem. I look forward to the results. Tell you what, let me call the landlord and arrange for you to stay the night. Huh? Stay the night? <laughs> Of course, the ghost's not going to appear if you aren't in the room at night, guy. Right, I guess I'll have to give it a try. Thanks for waiting, Shimazu-san. Oh, this is Hasegawa-san, the landlord here. You're a stubborn one, Shimazu-san. I told you a thousand times, there's no ghost here. So I've called a professional to verify it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gray, you some kind of spirit medium? No. No, I'm Yagami, a detective. <laughs> nice, a detective. That's fine. Can you clear up these ghost shenanigans once and for all, then? You know what they say, every dog has a wolf's shadow. Do they say that? Excuse me. Just to be clear, there's never been any incidents in that room, such as an accidental death? Nope. No way, this property is totally renovated and the lot was empty before it got built. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even justify these outrageous claims with an investigation. Well, let me see what I can find out and I'll let you know when I'm done. You detectives always find yourself contracting the kooks. All the same, here's the keys. Good luck tonight. And on the electricity and water for you too. I'm not particularly motivated here, but I guess I should sweep the room. Nothing here. Pretty normal for a vacant apartment. Not much else to do, so I guess I'll check the room. Hmm. Ghosts, huh? What was that about? The dog's shadow and wolves? Hmm? Hey. The windows are shut and hmm. locked. I guess that rules that out. Suspicious. Shut and locked? I don't think anyone could enter through these windows. Hey. The front door should have been locked before the landlord opened it. Why would anyone trespass in here before people moved in? A squatter, maybe? Suspicious. Hmm? This window won't open. Nobody's getting in from here. What the? Hmm? Water's apparently on because it's wet here. It's even got some buildup. That would mean it's getting some good use, I suppose. What's this doing here? An 
earring and sign someone when he's using the water? What's the link? Hmm. Kind of inconclusive. Pretty bored. Nothing to do but talk to myself and play the guessing game. Hmm? What was that? Huh? Was that? No way that was a ghost, right? It had legs. No time like the present to chase it down. Chase the ghost. Sleepwalkers don't generally look around at you and run, though. Yeah! Ch bust the ghost! Wait it's not sec. chase the ghost, it's bust the ghost. <laughs> Austin makes me feel you. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Oh. Wait a sec. Gotcha. Who are you? I'm a detective. What are you doing in that room? This is your earring, right? Did you even realize you dropped it? I suggest you start talking, or I could always call the police for you trespassing. <laughs> Ever heard the saying, dead men tell no tales? <sighs> Fine, you don't want to talk. You should probably bring Shimazu-san and the landlord into this. What's going on, Yagami-san? I apprehended your ghost. <laughs> Apologies for calling so late, but I caught it. The ghost. Huh? So it really was haunted? Wait, you caught it? Yeah, but it won't talk. I'm sorry to ask, but you can, can you come down here and your landlord too? Okay, we'll be there as soon as possible. Is that the ghost? My my, since when did ghosts start walking on perfectly corporeal legs? Um, is that you, Yukiko? Hmm? Yukiko, you know her? She's my girlfriend, the one who's supposed to be an, ad an Akita. Huh? But her hair! <sighs> you idiot, it's a wig. <laughs> Yukiko, what, what were you thinking? Hey. Yukiko-san, I think it's time to come clean, wouldn't you agree? It's because the room is too expensive. If we could prove it was haunted, we could lower, a pri lower the price, right? Don't tell me that's why you did this. Fred, sir, my darling Mamaru, I just wanted to help ease the burden of looking after me. So I came to the city a little earlier than we planned. I'm kind of lost for words. You did all that work just to... for this? Yukiko, you... You did all this for me? What a wonderful girl, my little melon pie. Ugh. Huh? My dashing sweet, I would die for you. Love you, my sugar plum. I will love you until death do us part. No, our love will endure beyond that. Not even death can tear us apart. Hey. Okay, you two. I'd say get a room, but that's the crux of the problem, isn't it? How'd you get the key, anyway? I saw the landlord hide it under the gas meter in the hallway, so I took it. Ma so I got a duplicate made. Oh, I guess that's usually where you put it before people move in. Shimazu san, you really had no part in this? He didn't. I didn't tell my love about the plan, but I never imagined you would hire a detective. You should have told me, baby. But I didn't want you to get wrapped up in this. Ugh. I had no idea you were being so considerate of me. Hmm. Guys, I don't mean to interrupt this tender moment, but you gotta consider something. 
The lease hasn't started yet, so technically this is trespassing. Yeah. What? That's why I didn't want to get you involved, my beloved. I guess it's really up to the landlord at this point. That's a gala son. What is wrong with you two? Are you both insane? No, but we're insanely in love. The only thing that's insane here is the world. The market price for rent should never have gotten this high. Nazi-san, I won't sue you, but all the same, no way I'm renting you that room. Huh? But the contract... To hell with the contract! You tried to scam me into thinking an accident happened, and then you hired a detective. All to catch your own girlfriend in the act of trying to get me to lower the price by parading around as a ghost. <laughs> I get it. You're jealous of how madly in love we are, aren't you? Shimazu-san, maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Don't worry, Mamaru, it'll be fine. What do you mean? You need to find a room that's really sketchy and haunted. No ghost could come between a love this strong. You're so right, baby. Ah, life is good. I sure did a quick 180 on that one. Those two are infuriating. I hope I never have to deal with them again. Mm -hmm. With you there. It was dumber than a sleepwalker. <laughs> good thing we oh, good thing we came to the seediest alley in the world to do that. I don't have a lot of points left after that last boost. Yeah. So, uh, Elegance of the Tiger is what I'm after next. Which I guess if I get Charging Tiger, uh, which I should have already, don't I? Yeah. Thought so. <laughs> Thank you, dear. Okay. It is about dinner time here anyway. <laughs>